Hey everybody, Joe again. Today, we're going to use Photoshop to edit realistic, textured backgrounds for our portraits. In past videos, I've shown off how to use hand-painted canvas backdrops to take your portrait game to the next level. These backdrops are amazing, but they have two downsides. One, they can be a bit pricey at times, especially if you factor in shipping costs. And two, the canvases are not incredibly portable and can take up a good amount of space in your studio. When working out of a home studio, this can be a problem. One workaround I've used is photoshopping realistic textured backdrops into my portraits. For this effect, I suggest using a solid gray backdrop as your placeholder during the photo shoot. A neutral tone will allow for a full spectrum of colors to be added later. For this shoot, I used a color called Stone Gray from Savage Universal. Most of this tutorial is Photoshop based, but I'll give you a quick breakdown of my shooting setup prior to post-production. Atlanta actor Torin Cavins Flores sat in for this editorial shoot. Only one light was used for this setup. It was placed at 45 degree angle from Torin creating that classic Rembrandt lighting. The grid prevented additional light from spilling onto our gray backdrop, allowing for even more options in Photoshop when it comes to vignetting. After trying out a few poses, we got a bunch of great shots. Out of camera, our raw image looked a little something like this. Now it's time to grab our stylus and start our edit. First off, you want to open your file in Photoshop. Next, you need to figure out what background texture you would like to use for this image. I'm often asked where I get my backgrounds and I always point people towards flypapertextures.com. Scroll through their collections and find the pack that's perfect for your photography style. I already have a few flypaper collections downloaded, so I just scroll through my options. When you have your favorite, take your background and drag it on top of your Photoshop image. This will create a new layer. Now use Command T to free transform the backdrop. Resize and reposition the backdrop on top of your image. Make sure the entire gray seamless backdrop is covered by this new texture. Next, select Overlay as your blending mode. For me, I found that Overlay and Lighten provide the most consistent, realistic end results. Next, with your texture layer selected, create a layer mask. Make sure your foreground layer is set to black and select the brush tool. Now just take your brush and start to move it all over the areas you don't want the background texture to show up. Take all the time you need and make sure you cover the whole surface area of your subject. With dark images like this, it can sometimes be difficult to see all the areas you've covered. And in this case, I would use the backslash shortcut to display the layer mask with a highlighted color, like red. You can now zoom in and cover all the areas you missed. Once you feel like you've sufficiently completed your layer mask, I suggest adding a bit of Gaussian blur to your texture. You don't have to go crazy with the blur, I suggest a radius anywhere in between 1 to 5 for most images. And this is what our image looks like now. We've successfully added a realistic hand-painted texture to our background. Sometimes I'll repeat this process multiple times for only one portrait. I'll take additional flypaper backgrounds from my collection until I create a unique, final image. The last steps for me involve dodging and burning to make your subject stand out, as well as contrast and color adjustments. In the end, this was our completed image. And that's it. If you're looking for ways to take your editorial portraits to the next level, I suggest trying out this method. All of the equipment used in this video will be linked down below. And for more of my work, please check out my website, joefunkphotography.com. If you like this tutorial, 
please remember to give a thumbs up, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave a comment as well. Thank you.